The British Humanist Association is a national charity that promotes humanism, lobbies for a secular state and supports non-religious people. It's important to have a, um, an organisation and a voice for humanism in the public sphere because it gives expression to a large number of people who haven't really thought what they are, but know they're not religious. It takes what is a disparate bunch of sort of people going, well, I don't believe in God, it's ridiculous, but I, you know, I'm interested in ethics and I'm interested in education and I'm interested in politics, and it gives them a title. I think humanism's a great title. By offering up humanism at, on the panel, so to speak, then people will be able to see that there is an alternative to what they might see as a prescribed view that's dominant in society. It's very important for humanists to get deeply involved in public debates because the religious are out there all the time and they will simply occupy the space. A minority now are, are devout believers, so it's very important that there are voices coming out in the public debate which take an explicitly non-religious stance. Humanists really ought to take a full part in discussion of public policy matters, and matters of public concern, moral panic issues, um, because they have a perspective to offer which is rich and deep and based on a, a really good rational understanding of things. We want people whose beliefs are humanist, you know, non-religious beliefs based on values and meaning in the here and now, to realise that there is a word for what they believe. Their beliefs aren't chaotic and disorganised, they're not second best somehow compared with religious beliefs. My argument with religion has not been that it's untrue, it's been that it interferes with me. It interferes with the, li the private lives of, 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 of other people, and it shouldn't, do, shouldn't have that power. To be secular is to say, the decisions the state makes must be rational, and they mustn't be swayed by the pressure groups that come from having 25 bishops in the House of Lords, and in the new House of Lords, probably a lot more of the other faiths as well. We say no, they, they have no role to play in the state. They have a private role, not a public one. It's very important to understand that secularism is not the same as atheism. Some of the most prominent secularists in history have been religious. We're not trying to stop people having their religion, not trying to stop people praying or anything like that. All we're worried about is that they are given privileged access to the levers of power and to the megaphones of influence. The influence of religion in society to my mind is becoming extremely harmful and divisive and people are demanding separate rights, separate laws, exemptions from the laws and naturally this means that the principle of equality before the law one law for all is being breached. We live in a secular society and also because there is a silent majority that don't like admitting that they don't believe in God. I think it's really important to stand up and be counted and to feel some kind of solidarity and empowerment through talking to other people um, whose viewpoints you share. But we also want all people of all beliefs to have equal representation. The, the, a government is not a government for the people if it favours one set of uh, mythological uh, moral guidelines over another. S secularism allows non-believers and believers of all types to not be treated differently in the eyes of the law. Textbook. We run many campaigns that aim to have a more equal society and a more secular state. One of the most popular and important campaigns in recent years has been our campaign against state-funded religious schools. We are one of the most secular countries in the world. Very, very few people go to church and yet one third of our schools are run by churches. Faith schools that, that taught biblical literacy and that taught about the great variety of religion would be fine, but they don't do that. Faith schools are tied to one particular denomination. They indoctrinate children in that particular denomination. They are therefore divisive. They are isolated from the rest of the society because they tend to have people of the same faith. So they don't, they're not exposed to the mix of the society outside them. The BHA, they're making a statement on behalf of people like us when gay marriage comes up as a question. And not only that, they supply educational materials to schools who are looking to educate their kids about issues which used to be filled by churches. People want to 
want to end their lives as they lived them. And if they lived them as rationalists, as non-believers, as secularists, why on earth do they suddenly have to be trundled in their coffin into a church? About half a million people a year attend a humanist funeral, a funeral that is conducted by one of our accredited celebrants to celebrate the life of a person who lived without religion and whose death and life are going to be marked without religion. We want non-religious people to be confident in living ethical and fulfilling lives on the basis of reason and humanity, and that's an idea that we try to spread. I agree all the time with the way the BHA approaches things, and I really hope uh, more people can get involved. It's important to support the British Humanist Association. People should become members of it because that voice, that very distinctive, sensible voice in our public debates is tremendously needed.